Hello everyone. Hey. Welcome back to Cursed on Late Night Gaming. Here in Lost Island. Today I'm going to be soloing it. Um not a good idea, but I'm really curious about this cave in it's in the jungle area and I I don't know, I had it in my head that this map had an aberrant area. And when I say aberrant area i think of it as kind of you know like like in valgaro where you go underground and there's a whole another land under there but i'm not sure that that is what happens here i'm not certain that lost island has that there are what i guess i would consider dungeons we went to uh, one and it was just like a dungeon. It was like bats and scorpions and snakes. And there was a artifact in the ground. And, you know, that's pretty typical. What I was looking for is an aberrant area. Where there's aberrant dinosaurs. Because they're on the list. If we go out to the turret out here. And you know when you're setting up your turret, you can list whatever dinos are on the map. If you go here and look at turret options, there is aberrant carnos, aberrant meganura, aberrant arthropods, aberrant raptors, aberrant... So that leads me to believe that there's an aberrant world. But I don't know that there really is. I watched uh, a quick video. I, I don't like to watch a lot of things that are kind of like spoilers. I watched a quick video talking about where to find Ferox. And it was a place under the waterfall over here in the jungle area. So I'm going to go there today. I don't know if that necessarily means there's another aberrant area. We poked our head in. My brother and I poked our head in there. And it was definitely full of bats. And it was full of snakes and, and all the bad things. That are typical for like what I would say is a dungeon cave. But um, I don't know. We've also installed a mod called... Uh, God, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's just called Griffins. But it creates mountain griffins. What it does is it converts all... it. All wild griffins are now mountain griffins, arctic griffins, or pygmy griffins. So we've got mountain griffins here because it just replaces the existing griffins. So that spawn option isn't a, that spawn isn't a problem. Where we did see a problem is with the arctic griffins and the pygmy griffins, just like with the um, mod. Um, any any creature mod on Lost Island, frankly, there it just is not set up correctly to spawn stuff, so you don't find any of them. And that was apparent with um the Ark Editions collection. Um I think most people have that mod installed in their servers, and none of those dinos are spawn. I mean, I won't say none of them. The ocean creatures are spawning, but not the land ones there have been reports that they do old gray here um is a typical griffin it's it's one before we put the mod in and those don't get changed but these do and it adds armor you can see the armor on him it's not that great looking actually um it's got some leg plates and a saddle which then removes its ability to have two people on it. If you take the saddle up, you, you can ride two people, but... It's kind of neat. They have a nest that they can sit in and, 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 and hatch their eggs, incubate their eggs. It makes them breedable. It makes them male, female. But I don't know if it was... Because, you know, every mod adds to the time that... It takes to load this into the server, and I don't know if this one is necessarily worth it. 
to me. I was kind of wanting to wait till the storm gets over. I wasn't going to stream this today. I was going to stream Insane Island. And I was going to show ladies... Um, I can't remember what it's called here. Let me see here real quick. It's called Ladies Food and Farming Mod. That just came on not too long ago, and I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. So I installed it, and I was and loaded up Lost Island, or excuse me, um, Insane Island, my single-player game with uh, over 40 mods on it. So we loaded it up, and I unfortunately didn't have my settings correct for sound, which requires you to reload the whole game again. So I... For me to stream it, I have to have it streaming through my headsets, and I did not have that. If you change it dynamically, it does not change the game, and you still hear it through your speakers, which doesn't work for streaming. And the load time on that map is over 40 minutes, so I didn't want to load it again. So we're, we're here now, and we're going to do what I was going to plan to do with my brother. He is unfortunately working today, so he cannot join us. I have Cinder my thyla in a uh, dino little ball here and she's going to come with us and be our cave spelunker to keep us safe from the bats and things now i should be taking some antidote with me to uh, i'm saying this as i'm flying away i need to take some antidote with me to cure for rabies i don't like carrying it with me because you know it spoils and if you forget it in your inventory, it's gone. Now let's see if we have any. I know my brother was making some. Ah, uh, right here. Look at all these eggs we have to hatch. Jeez. Some of them aren't too magnificent. Some of them very much are. This one should be pretty magnificent. What's this one? Lightning? Whoa, my brother has another lightning? Where did he get another lightning? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to take... I'll take two with me. Let's go take a look down at the aviary. I want to see... He has... He got another lightning. I did not know that. So we keep things kind of separate here, mainly for frame rate issues. We've got the castle here, which is very big and expensive. We've got the stable down there, which really should be out of sight of the castle. It is not. Um, let's see what he's got here. He's got two fire. And the aviary is over here, loading in. Oh, crap. Now, see those fish that are attacking the big one here? That's from a mod. But the rest of the land dinos for that mod don't load. So being the server admin, I went in I think I can actually, like, steal their kill. I'm not getting anything. They got it all. Um, being the server admin, I actually went in and... placed some. Put some in the wild. Some arctic griffins and some pygmy griffins. So, he should have at least two... No, he's still got his original. That must mean that that lightning, those lightning eggs, I must not look close enough. That must mean the lightning eggs are wild. These are my brother's wyverns. Couple uh, ice wyverns. They're actually easier to get than the others. I've got um, an ice one, a poison one, which is not... The ice one was max level, the poison not so much. And then a rock drake I brought over from another server. 
and this is a griffin that I bred that has a mutation. And I do not as much. I have over 3,000 hours in arc, and I do not understand the mutation process. I don't understand how you can look at the stats and see what the mutation was. I have never understood that part. If you look here, it has one random mutation. So uh, the only way I can see is that you look at the parents and then you see what the stat is, that it's different. But if you've been leveling the parents, that gets all out of whack and you can't really tell. So it's a really clunky system in my opinion. But anyway, so let's head over to the jungle and see about that waterfall. Do I have any food with me? I do not. Um, that's okay. I think. It's actually not okay. We'll eat some berries before we go in. Riding on Jet here. She has been with us since, boy, Extinction Map, I think. And of course, people saw today they announced the bat, the Demondus Draculari or whatever the heck they're calling it. It's a vampire bat. So they're finally going to have a rideable bat, I guess. Is it this waterfall here? I keep hitting a bit of a lag. I don't know why. Unfortunately, because I released the Arctic, I spawned some Arctic griffins and some pygmy griffins into their natural habitats. It doesn't mean that that will continue to happen. It's kind of just bugged. Yeah, I don't think this is the correct waterfall. Perhaps. It is. Okay. So let's go out here and grab some berries and stuff before I go in and get rabies and die. Come on. So the next map is a Viking theme map. I have no idea when that's expected to be out. You know, you know, wild card. Whenever. They are one thing they are not as prompt. Or on time, ever. Okay, I don't want that. Ah uh, yeah, that's okay ish. I don't need that either. All depends how much damage we take, right? <clears throat> so, throw this crap on the ground. I think that's that's a decent amount. Is Jet carrying anything? Fish. Oh, he did get some. Oh, that's cool. She. 
Um, okay, so let's do a little swap here. Take Cinder out and put Jet away. All right. Cinder, do you like fish? Because that's what I got for you. Okay. Now, I don't know how much this will let us. I don't know how much this will let us. Um, let, her, let her walk all the way in. The last one we had to bring them in in a ball and throw them out once we got here. So this area is supposedly, supposedly has Ferox somewhere. And oddly, when my brother and, and I went and explored this a bit, to him, it wasn't all lit up like this. It was dark. Oh, great. Okay. Talk about a bunch of useless garbage. We don't have a grinder. I would have just kept it and ground it up. But Let's see what I mean. This this is more like a dungeon to me. We got Arthro, Plura. Already got rabies. What the hell level is that thing? It wasn't that high. Damn. That was not the absolute massacre I was hoping for. Uh, I'll take some berries and some arrows. The rest of this can kind of go away. How you doing there, Cinder? Questionable. Huh. I don't know why she was taking such a long time to kill those things. And she has tons of uh, food now. Okay. Plus they're bleeding. It seems like Seems like if the bats live too long, then you got problems. Okay, that was almost max level. So our max level on the server is 180. Um, oh, we still got effect from it. That's cool. Dung beetle, there's a red drop.
Tom Bomb Bow, that's kind of cool. Wish it was a blueprint, is it? No. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. More crap. Crystal. Plain old boring crystal. We've got that growing naturally near our house, so. Not so important for us. There is a yellow drop. See what I mean? This is all just drops. It's not like an aberrant world that I was kind of looking for. Now the last time my brother and I went down into one of these caves, we didn't take the thylas with us, we took monkeys, the new baboons on this island. And as far as, see, this is just like ridiculous. As far as killing things, they were great. They killed everything. Those monkeys were just like awesome. In terms of navigating, and it was awful. They would like stick on the walls and stick on the ceiling. You couldn't get them to get down. I several times had mine get stuck to where it wouldn't move at all in the stalactites and stuff on the ceiling. It was just not good. So I lost my stupid armor, but it was just desert gear. It's not like it was amazing. Uh, Stego saddle, okay, I guess. Club, I will never use this ever. All right, now our Thyla is kind of hurt. We can do the force feed thing, but I've never found that to be very effective. So slow. So yeah, I could jump in a video, a YouTube video somewhere and just see what's happening in here and not waste my time, but yeah. Now we're at the dilemma that we don't have any more antidote. And because of the height the bats fly at, I'm getting completely pelted all the time by bats. So I feel like this isn't what I'm looking for. Or I need to come here with a something nastier. We were thinking maybe um, Therizinos. But Therizinos in no way would fit through these holes. So you'd be constantly putting them in the bag, or put them away and then throwing them out again.
do we have there? Male Carno. And that is just a regular Carno. And there is a glow tail. Uh, what else is down there? Is, is this the thing we're looking for? Raptor, Ravager. Huh. Well, I in no way have the armor to go down there right now, but let's see. Oh, come on. Hey, what's up? Missed. I don't know. Not really sure I should jump down there in my current state. <laughs> Well, maybe this is the aberrant area I was looking for. But they're still, all the enemies are just like standing around like it's a dungeon. I don't know. You know, in a normal aberrant area, they're, they're like doing the patrolling, you know, walking around, acting like they're in their natural habitat. And here they're just kind of like standing there waiting for you to come along. It's pretty cool that glow tails down there. My brother has not seen those. I'll bet he'd be like, what the hell is this thing? And it's a 174, too. Hmm. You know, there's no rule saying we have to stick with what we started with, so let's do this. Let's take Jet out. Put Cinder away. Oops. And I don't think Jet is. Jet does, like, she does hardcore damage, but I don't know. I don't know if she got. If we were fighting bats and stuff, I don't know. See, it's still just like caves. It's not like... Ravagers. I haven't seen those yet. Well, I mean, I saw them in other maps, but not on Lost Island. There's a couple glue tails here. One eighty. Bad or the scorpions a 180 max level. Scorpions are you know scorpions though so. It's 
So I don't remember what you feed glow tails. Is it mushrooms? It's like different mushrooms, right? Why don't you land, Jet? Huh. There we go. I don't have anything berries. I don't think it's berries. I think it's those mushrooms, aberrant mushrooms. It doesn't hurt to try, I guess. <laughs> There's a 24 cool colors. Say feed what? Oh no. This is the one with the uh, big level though. Yeah, it says put food in slot to, t to feed and we did. So it is not the correct food. I don't even think it's meat, right? It's definitely those mushrooms then, yeah. All right, they must be down here somewheres. Oop, you don't want that. Where the hell's this go? Oh. oh, that's kind of cool. Don't have to jump down the hole. Okay, don't see any mushrooms here. Really at all. I don't see any mushrooms at all. I'm going to get so lost. That's what ultimately is going to happen. I'm going to get lost. There is some mushrooms. Are you pickable? No. Not at all. the waterfalls, isn't it? Carnos, Ravagers, all kinds of... There's something in there. I think that's just... Um, you're, you're just a Carno, dude. You're gonna die so bad. Alright, I don't think this is mushrooms, is it? What are you doing, Jet? It's something. No, it's just berries. Oh. Red gems. Those look really purple for being red. It. Well, unlike the cave, let's see. Unlike the cave we went to last time, this place feels worth exploring. The other place was just like nothing.
feel I feel unsafe getting away from Jet. Um, nope. Don't care. Why does it keep doing that? I don't know. We have got no red gems back at the base, so this is a good find. I've heard there's Ferox down here somewhere. Now, I don't have the element to tame them, but I wanted to just confirm. We've got loads of element dust, which I don't know if that can be turned into stable element. I don't think so. But I'm pretty uh, pretty out of touch. Haven't played Ark. I kind of gave up Ark for a while, so I'm getting back into the groove. And I'm, they're kind of, because, you know, Genesis kind of, I don't know. Genesis wasn't doing it for me. But then Lost Island came back to normal maps. And then the next one, what is it called? F Fjord. <clears throat> the next map coming, that is also normal maps with normal tames and so it's kind of drawing me back, I guess, a little. Okay, I'm kind of getting the layout here, but I still don't see any mushrooms. Like, hold on, give me one second. I'm going to refer to the mighty Dodo decks. Oh, mighty dodo decks. What do glow tails need? What? Yeah, aquatic mushrooms. Um, one. It's for the kibble. Info. Plant species Z seeds or ascorbic mushroom. We don't have any of those things. Okay, we're back here again. We did not go... Is there a way this direction? They're so cheating with Jet here. <laughs> Just such a cheat. That's... Yeah, and then this is the way out, I believe, right? Yep, sure is. Yeah. Well, I don't... Whew, lag. I don't see any um, Ferox happening. Wow, we don't even need... We can just, like, totally just fly right in. There's a little hole in the wall. Check can totally fly in there too. Whoa. Um, this could end badly. Just sit. Okay. This is for no reason at all. <laughs> Damn. Huh. It's the way out again. Idiot. So it feels like the search for Ferox continues. I don't know. I'm used to seeing them in a more of a um, snowy environment, of course.
Red drop. and bullets. I think we've got all that, but I really would have expected something better. Where does it keep... I'm trying to understand why when I pick up a drop it goes to the escape menu. I don't know, maybe it's just a thing I'm doing. Huh. Oh, black pearls. More red crystal. Let's see what we can do here, huh? I got raptored. I got totally raptured. It's the first time I've been nailed by one of those on Lost Island. I'm probably going to need Tic Tac too because I think Tic Tac just got attacked. Oh yeah, didn't dump all my garbage. All right. Now jet is set to passive, so that's not good. That is bad, bad. Um, blueprint, right? Yeah. Blueprint, so we probably already have. No, we don't actually, that's good. because my brother's putting blueprints in there. As long as we aren't in the area, Jet's not actively getting attacked. It's when we load into that space that he's going to start getting hit. So I'm not like... That's why I'm not like frantic to get over there. So that's what I see happens a lot is you get, especially with n newbies on arc as they get panicked and they go rushing back unprepared and then just die again and again and again and again and again. Repair, repair, repair. Oh, 
Let's put our strong desert gear on. <laughs> That'll save us. Okay. Huh. Trying to think what I want to do here. What I want to do is to glide over there with this and then I don't have to have two flyers. But that's a long ways. Might be a bit ambitious. Once I get to the other side though, I can just have Cinder and We go, fingers crossed. See, we're running out of stamina. But there is a little something you can do. I'm sure most people know this. If you parachute, they regain stam. So, like, we're running low, we're running low, we can go switch to parachute. Their stamina is coming back, coming back, coming back. And then you can go back to flap, 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 flap. Now there's a dive mode. I'm not sure what that is though. My brother uses it all the time to prove he's faster than me. That's funny, you can tame a pterodon that can hardly lift you, but these little guys can lift you no matter what your weight is. Well, this is an exciting process. We're now stamina again. All right, enough of that nonsense. Come on, 
Cinder. Just remember, I didn't grab any antidote at all. Now I would say that Jet's in trouble. Now Jet's getting attacked and all the bad stuff. Did we go this way before? No, this was nothing. Flyer thing, it's in dead. Oh no. When is it an alpha? Same room, isn't it? If we can get a free moment, I'm going to do something. That's not on the list. Hmm, that's not good. Maybe I need to look at a little closer at the tribe log. I was killed, Tic Tac was killed. Jet was not listed. Why isn't Jet on this list though? Because this is a track your dino.
Jet. Fine jet. Usually it gives like an arrow and it's because we're in a cave it doesn't know. Find jet. Huh, uh, I guess it's because we're in a cave. I'm a little concerned I'm never going to find Jet. I don't think Jet's being actively attacked or she'd be dead by now. If she was passive and being attacked. Huh. Frog saddle. This is kind of a sucky blueprint, but okay. I'm hitting escape to get out of the. get out of the menu there. That's what's happening. Bunch of dead stuff. Jet! <laughs> Jet, we found you. And you had a swath of destruction all around you. Okay, you are badly hurt. Bad. Good girl. Wow, she wiped everything out. She did. Oh, wow. I knew she was a badass, but damn. Okay. Okay, it's been an hour. 
We saved Jet, and all we're going to do is get out of here now. So I'm going to sign off. And uh, thanks for joining me. Um, you can follow us on Twitter, on Cursedown1. And this up video, all my streams get uploaded to YouTube on Cursedown as well. Uh, we have an Instagram Cursedown, about almost 2,000 people there. So feel free to join. We've got a Discord Cursedown as well. I, I'm always on Discord, but I, um, I don't know. I'm always on Discord <laughs> if you want to just chat directly. Most people ask me about is just, can I join the server? And the answer to that is always, yes, you could join the server if you um, join our Patreon. And I have a Patreon. If you want to join and help pay for the server, you can by all means join it. We have uh, the lowest, one of the lower tiers of the Patreon, you can join a specific server you pay the higher tier which i think is like 10 bucks then you can join any of the servers i have running which is conan farming simulator 22 um and then arc of course and we're going to have a um, fjord server once that gets rolling so um lots of servers coming up all right so until next time i will See you in the next one. Uh, let's see. What's my sign off now? I have to look. I wrote it down. <laughs> oh, yeah. May the sun never rise on your game night. All right. Goodbye, everyone.